Hey Upload, Arix here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Battlefield 4 Naval Strike DLC pack. Now for those of you that are active players on Battlefield 4, you may well remember that this DLC was originally supposed to come out last week on March the 25th, but due to various reasons, uh, EA had to delay it slightly, and it has now started rolling out for premium members. Now it's important to note that right now, and as with all of these DLC packs, the DLC always rolls out for premium members first. So if you have the season pass and you're a premium Battlefield member, then you can access this now. However, if you are not, then you will have to wait a couple more weeks till this comes out. There's not a set date yet, but the premium members always get about two weeks ahead of everyone else. Anyway, that aside, let's take a look at what the DLC contains. Now it contains four new maps, a new game mode, and a new vehicle. The four new maps are Lost Islands, Nansha Strike, Wave Breaker, and Operation Mortar. Now all four of these maps are set in the South China Sea, so they are largely aesthetically similar, however they're all designed for kind of intense naval action among kind of shipping docks, fishing villages, rocky islands, all that kind of stuff, but there is plenty of water because obviously this is all about naval combat. Now the game mode is called Carrier Assault, and this is actually an homage to Battlefield 2142's uh, Titan mode. In the Carrier Assault game mode, both teams spawn in their own respective aircraft carriers, and it is your objective to destroy the opposing team's carrier. In order to do this, the mode is split into two distinct waves, the first of which requires you capture various areas of land or flags located around the map. Each of these locations contains a missile launcher, and by holding said area, the missile launchers will attack the enemy carrier dealing damage over time. Once you have inflicted sufficient damage to the enemy's carrier, the second wave begins, and at this point, the carrier opens up and can be boarded. Once this happens, you must plant explosives and detonate the ship from the inside. There are two bombs that need to be planted, the first of which is in the hold, and this is typically encountered the second you board the ship, and the second one is located further into the ship in the engine room. Successfully detonating both of these will result in the end of the game and winning it for your team. And finally, the new vehicle is the Hovercraft. Now this is actually a really cool vehicle and I do really like using it. If you've used any of the naval vehicles beforehand, then you'll know that obviously boats are good on water, but the second you drive up to a beach and it gets stuck, then there's not a lot more you can do with it. So you tend to get out, go on foot, and then carry on your journey. The Hovercraft is perfectly suited to this mode as it's amphibious, so it can go on both land and sea, and it's great for storming the islands on beach assaults as it doesn't grind to a halt like the other boats. And this also means you can drive right up to the flag and capture without even having to get out your vehicle. And obviously, as with all other vehicles, you can still run people over, even if you're in the water. So there you have it. That's just a brief overview of the new Naval Strike DLC for Battlefield 4. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you haven't tried it out already, then be sure to go and download it and check it out. And if you have been playing it, then be sure to let us know what you think, send us your clips, send us your reviews, message the official Upload Gamer tag. we'd love to hear what you think. And while you're there, don't forget to add the official Upload Gamer tag as a friend so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. I'm Erics, thanks again for watching, catch you next time.